time for LGD's roaming pair, which should be a support alchemist with the roaming Skyrath. It could also be farming. There it is. The Not just from level one is that hero. Probably more than any other hero in the game. But Lumi, I do want to talk about this middle lane because fourth bottom there. is going to be a concussion. Sun into a sun strike. First blood happens, and that goes back to exactly what you said. The sun strike didn't add the need. This early on. Centaur ultimate, now top lane they go, and Lin will make his move on the low. The Sun Strike's gonna follow this up, and in goes the Centaur for an easy kill. LGD, I mean, it's the combination you knew would come at some point. It's almost inevitable you'll give up a few kills to that, but now the turn. They're gonna Chrono and look to jump in, but YWF needs more damage. He's just not getting much. Now he tries to run, and he scatters to the south, but DDC is there to greet him. He's pretty low. Meanwhile, retreating out will be his ally, the Earthshaker. And while that's all going on, they lose the Lich. YWF still being pursued by DDC. He's pretty tanky here, but doesn't have mana, and now Yao joins the fight. This is a big kill. A Chrono, as well as the Death of the Void. They lost three in the end there. The heroes don't necessarily need too much farm. I feel like one or two core items. Oh, in mid lane. lane. It's going to be a big burst. 430 melts off the face of the map. Yeah, and they can do that every time the blink's off. Cool. Out from the tower. And there's some Bottom lane jump. Chrono's going to be the lead right now. He's got to be very careful. He's actually dying under that vision. It's going to come out. And there you now go. Now top. Now top they go. And they will finish off the Venomancer. So it's a one for one. The support for a support. But does anyone get a tower off of this? That would obviously be the big push. Right? 430 is the biggest push here for IG. And you could argue that. Centaur ultimate, and, and on they go bottom again with Lin. She finds one. He's looking for the double here, and he'll find it on Faith as well. He even forces out a chain cross, but just not enough burst. Lin. They've got a Death Prophet all ready to go. Exorcism online. And Luo in through the front, and he's got the mech here as well. They'll pop the Exorcism now, but here comes Setar. No Stampede. This is going to be a tough one to fight into, but he'll go for it anyway. He wins the stop, now gets caught by a Fissure, and he might be a little bit trapped. Rabbit will join the fray as well, and LGD will be forced back. They lost to Skyrath Mage, though, to Faith on the backside. All is happening. Rabbit would be a much bigger prize, and they'll get him too. The Stampede used, but to what avail? They have no follow-up for this one. They're actually just going to retreat their way out. The only trade is that Yao will take a Tower mid, but it comes to the cost of two, and now DD gets caught. He's chronoed up. They can commit heavily from this one. The assault will keep him alive, but only for a time. And then finally, he falls to the right clicks of my way up, getting some money to kill gold. With the setup, the Skyrath has had a huge impact already. Looks like IG's trying to try to sneak the Roshan. And can they scout? The scout's gonna come out from the Forge Spear, but it seems like everybody's so far away from LGD, and the burst damage is coming out. Stampede. Is Lin gonna go for it? He's heading towards the pit. Full Stampede now. I don't know. And he finds 430. The Aegis falls. Who's going to claim it? It's still on the ground. It gets denied by Lin. He gets two. Now it's three. LGD. What a... I actually like that choice a lot. Mid lane, there's a Chrono on Yao. He gets caught out by YWF, and they're gonna commit heavily for this kill. Stampede was used, but the Fissure Block is perfect. Just what the Doctor ordered for IG, and now DDC. He's been surrounded by the Death Prophet. Well, YWF tanks a Mystic Clear, but he can't finish off the Void. He makes his way out of the fight, and in comes Rabbit. He's stealing damage. 430 might not need it to dish out his own, but he's gonna jump for us to this. There's BKBs everywhere, and the Chain Frost just keeps up bouncing, but LGD don't care. Now the Sun Strike, it connects! 430 melts. And LGD march forward. What a great sun strike and no attempt to juke. In that moment, you just have to keep on running and pray to the gods. You turn for a moment, Rabbit would have finished him off. I think the buyback from Yao was absolutely the best choice. Not just because he made a flashy play, but Chrono is the only way of taking initiative. The big angle stop's gonna come in. Tornado Meteor End's gonna come down here against IG. IG is melting for a second time, and I think this is where they lose Rex. He's also an issue for the team. Like, if, if IG sees something out of position, it's up to him to actually make that jump. And they're going now. LGD, they're going to force the issue here on IG, and in comes the Chrono. It's a good one on two. The Mystic Flare, though, will drive my way up off, and now Lin comes in once again with the stop. The BKBs, LGD march forward. Rabbit and Lin driving IG back. They have a step up on the Skyrath. A perfect combo. Is it even enough to kill Rabbit once? Maybe I kill him once. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, now he's going to test that theory, pops the ultimate, and starts working on the tower. The, they'll try and buy some time here, but now the Centaur goes in, he stops one. It's a nice Chronosphere, but the follow-up simply isn't there. Rabbit's still very healthy for this, and now the Alk Stun comes, and Rabbit just charges forward. He's hurting the back, now finishing off one, working on 430. Even the Death Prophet can't fight. Normally she loves it when you're in her face, but it's GG. IG just didn't have it. LGD come out hot, and they're on the verge of knocking the last defending champions out of the tournament. If IG lose here, nobody will have won two TIs after this one. It was really that fight near the Roshan pit where Lin was able to come in, get a 2-3-man stop, 
double edge, get a couple of kills, denies the Aegis. I think IG was already very far behind that point, but that really just sealed it at that point. So really well played from LGD. I love the dual lanes and I love the invoker going mid because that really set up, it's basically